to stop the Jake fire from spreading any further. Hi, this is Emily Berryhill and welcome to this week's Canyons News Micro. Since the COVID-19 pandemic has spread across the globe, Santa Cruz law enforcement have been working tirelessly every day to keep everyone safe. Since the pandemic, it's been harder to keep those who have been committing crimes not commit them again. But thanks to California's zero bail policy, those who are committing misdemeanors and lower level felonies will have zero bail in order to limit the amount of inmates that are in jail statewide. In the midst of the stay at home order, graduations, proms, end of the year senior activities have been canceled. However, people are not letting that stop them from creating special moments for the teens who will miss those upcoming milestones. With those traditional graduation ceremonies coming to a halt, it's become vital to find ways to celebrate the seniors' accomplishments. There have been local efforts to encourage families to adopt a senior to show that these Santa Cruz Valley High School seniors are not forgotten. Chalk Art and Saugus is bringing happiness to the community. Vanessa Ferrer Benancourt and her 11-year-old daughter Ava Benancourt spent hours a day creating their art sticking to the Disney theme. They began doing this only a week and a half ago, and now their whole driveway is covered. They didn't think this was going to be a big thing, but are surprised to know how many people are enjoying it. People like Vanessa and Ava have their chalk art project to help them get through the day instead of being indoors, and now they have created something for the community that has brought them joy. Turning to local politics, on May 12th, Democrat Chrissy Smith and Republican Mike Garcia will be on the ballot. Just, uh, Both are looking to fill Katie Hill's vacant congressional seat. Smith, an incumbent and assemblywoman for California's 38th district, and Garcia, a former fighter pilot and businessman, have a long road ahead of them in their May and November showdowns in the tightly contested District 25. Call to the Canyons political science professor Phil Gusson joined Canyons News reporter Joey Neugebauer to share his thoughts on Tuesday's special election. I recall that um, Representative Katie Hill, who won in the last election, resigned after a scandal took, took place. And so as a result, her seat was empty. There was nobody representing the 25th Congressional District. This election that we're having right now is essentially to see who is going to fill out or who is going to serve the remainder of Katie Hill's term. Then in November, we'll have another election to see who's going to serve as the representative for the 25th Congressional District for the next term. So we're just filling out the last of Katie Hill's term right now. And that's all I have for this week. I'm Emily Berryhill, and thank you for joining us for this week's Canyons News Micro.